you made a comment that I want you to go more into detail about. Um, you said that the same people that was trying to kill Puffy are the same people that was trying to kill Suge. What makes you say that? Because if Suge said that Rafael Perez and David Mack was trying to kill him, those are the same people that was trying to kill Big. Because David Mack and Rafael Perez were seen at the scene. They got pictures of them at the scene. Rafael Perez was picking up bullets at the scene. Cops know you do not mess with the evidence. You leave the evidence right where it's at. So, bruh, they couldn't get Puff. And Big was collateral damage. So pretty much what you're saying, right? And I'm trying to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. You're saying that the same people that killed Biggie are the same people that killed Tupac, LAPD. If Shook says, if you solve one murder, you solve them both, I got to go with the eyewitness. And I, I don't know why would Suge say that when Keefe D says that it was him, Orlando, and Dre and them in the car together? But why Suge would say, if you solve one murder, you solve them both? He said that in the documentary. Like I said, like, like I said, man, I just believe that somebody was made to say something and if I hope the Vegas Police Department do their due diligence and get down to the bottom of it and make the truth come out. I mean, that is consistent with what you was telling me some months ago, how you felt like, you know, the whole Tupac Vegas situation was an inside job. So, I mean, it's consistent with what you've been telling me. So, It don't take a rocket scientist for this, man. But what you think the motive was, though, behind them wanting to kill Tupac? Like, what's the reason? What's the root of all evil? Money. Money. Somebody wanted to control of some money. Some people were spending money that they shouldn't have been spending. Some people were stealing money that they shouldn't have been stealing. Some people had money they, sh they shouldn't have had. And I think if I heard correctly, Tupac put an audit in two weeks or three weeks prior to his murder and start firing people and trying to figure out where his money was at and where it was going. So now, if you've been stealing money and you inside and everything could be connected to you, what are you going to do? Get this hot head in a situation. It, 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 it just could have been that I'm going to get this hot head in a situation. And if Tupac caught on tape doing something like he was doing, he going back to jail. His, his, his papers is going to be revoked. So he's got to go back to jail anyway. Yeah. I mean, you're right about that. I mean, Tupac, he was a hot head, so. So I'm 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 gonna get him into something to cause him to react in that manner. And what he and what happens? He get caught up in the Orlando, Dan Marino Jersey video. <laughs> that went over your head. <laughs>